Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. Today we're going to do another page setup in the last fin of the album that we're currently working on. So this is called the Curator's Botanical. Uh, I think I'm just calling it botanical in most of the list. <laughs> but this is a 49 and market paper, so we're using the physical version and we're also using the printable version that's available on the artist's website, which I have linked down below, which her name is Katie, uh, what, uh, Pertit, Pertit? I, she's never confirmed if I'm saying that right. Katie, am I saying it right? <laughs> and I have all of that linked down below. And also the templates that we are using are the Simply Magical Landscape version and the Butterfly Background Design. And we're using the Enhancement Pack in the Vintage Design. So, just really quick, let me make sure my phone's not super dirty. <laughs> I will show you. I decided to make a list. Here, I'll, I'll go to my face. Well, now I can go to my video. Let's go to today's video. Let's see. Mm, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mute it so you don't, so you don't have to look at the ad. Um, and in the description box, hang on, let me let the ad finish. Okay, so here I've got my video pulled up on my phone, and then if you hit this little teeny tiny little arrow, maybe it'd be helpful if I just scoot y'all in. Okay, so this, oops, I gotta stay out of the glare. There we go. This teeny tiny little arrow right here, that is the drop down menu on a phone. And then so everything drops down so well not everything drops down so this much drops down and then there's a little thing that says more so if you hit more more stuff drops down which i don't know why it's going to be so complicated come on youtube so i've decided you can make collections in etsy right so what i did was i took all the printables that i'm using out of my etsy shop and put them into one collection, okay? So that's what this first link is here. It says this link contains all of the printable items from my Etsy shop that I am using in this album. So you hit that and it takes you to, let me scooch back just a little bit. Oh, it's a little bright. Let me give my phone a minute to adjust. So it takes you to all the things that I'm using printable wise in this album. So there's the butterfly landscape, there's the vintage uh, enhancement pack, there's the printable postcards, the two photomat essentials, the shades of color, and the floral autograph uh, paper collection. So it's all right here. So if I was to add something, like uh, if I put the postage stamps in here, um, you know, it would pop up here. So anyway, do you guys like that? Does that make it easier for you guys? So I've done it, I went ahead and made a, a collection list for the last album that we made and for the Simply Magical Little Sister version uh, album that we made. I went ahead and did that. But okay, but anyway, so let me know what your thoughts are on that and if you find that helpful or if you're like, no, no thanks, uh, just let me know. Leave me a comment. Let me know. And then the next thing I wanted to tell you really quickly is my, I keep, everybody keeps asking me what color my nail polish is and it's the same color so far. And so I thought I'd show you really quick what it is. So this is a OPI Infinite, infin, <laughs> Infinite. <laughs> this is the infin, <laughs> Infinite Shine 2. So it's like a, it's like a hybrid. It's not a regular polish. It's not a gel. I am actually allergic to the um, ultraviolet lights in the lamps. So I, I can't do anything uh, gel wise I know they have some LED things too but um, I don't know if I'm allergic to those or not but anyway I am allergic to the ultraviolet light so uh, this one if you use the the, the um, base coat the polish and the top coat then it's more like a gel like polish versus um, versus just plain polish okay so that's what I'm using and then the color that I'm using is called We the Female, and I don't know if that's going to show up. So if I can find it online, I will link it down below. But either way, I'll I'll at least put the name of it. It's called We the Female, is the name of the polish. So yeah, 
that's what I'm using. Okay, so the last video we did was this, this that it flips up this way. It's an envelope pocket kind of deal. And then it flips up this way. And we have a belly band, which I don't have an insert for. And then this flips down this way. And we have this cute little pocket tuck. And then we also have this little booklet insert. It's got just vintage writing papers in it. So this was the last video, super cute. And I was thinking, well, we could make some inserts and finish this up, but nope, I'm gonna go on to the next fin. <laughs> this way we have something on every fin, so all five fins, whoops, my plants in the way there, uh, will have something on them besides the two photo map pages, okay? So I have a playlist for this album. I'll link it up here in the cards and down below in the description box. So you can go through and go step by step with me and make all these different little elements. And you can follow right along and it, you won't miss a beat, okay? So this is what we've done. So this is how dirty my desk is. There's, there's ink on there that's not ripped. <laughs> this is what we've got so far. Okay, so again, we're going to start on the fifth fin. This is a five fin album. And I've already got everything printed and prepped as best I can. And so out of the landscape templates, I printed page L7. So page L7, the main base page. I printed that onto white cardstock and I just printed the plain version. And I cut one long tab and both short tabs. So I just left one long tab on and I put tape on one side and I inked both sides. Okay, so I put, this is not directional so it, it doesn't matter, just pick one long tab and put tape on it. So that's one thing we're gonna need. And then uh, this piece here, L, uh, what, no this is L8, which is this piece right here right under here. This is a belly band. It could be a page, a pocket page, a flip. Um, L8. So this is left over from another page. We used this piece, right? So here's what I did. I took, there was just one long tab left on it, so I took that off. I think it was this one. Then I scored these two and uh, put tape on the two short tabs and tabbed them a little bit. We're gonna use it as a belly band. Also just realized you can see this in the video. I went to the doctor yesterday and they had to do some blood work, but the, but the needle went in over here. And when I took the bandage off, it pulled on my skin and made this ugly bruise. Isn't that awful? Okay. All right, so we're gonna need that. That's left over from another, pe uh, another page in this album. And then, Page L12, I printed twice. Once I printed plain, and once I printed butterfly background design. So they're both exactly done exactly the same. So I cut them out, I scored all three tabs, I put tape on them, and, and notched the corners where they don't overlap, and I inked up that edge, I did that for both of these. And the same for this, I scored here, put tape on it, on the, the one that has the background design on it, I put tape on that same side, and then inked the other sides, okay? So we need those two, so you would print two, one plain, one butterfly, or at least that's what I'm going to use. And then I printed L21, which is the insert for uh, most of these big pockets and things. It'll fit into a lot of them. So I printed them twice onto, all of these have been printed onto 80 pound white cardstock. Oh, by the way, you got, I'll, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> and I printed the butterfly backgrounds to that design so that I printed two of them. So I was getting to say, I was printing yesterday and I went, to, I was out of paper in my printer, you know, out of cardstock. So I went and I added some more, well, I was like, oh no, I'm out of cardstock in my little stash over by the printer. So I went to where I store my cardstock and I'm out. And I buy it by the case. I was like, oh my. <laughs> I think there's eight, you know, reams of cardstock in the case. I was like, oh my goodness. I must, where is it at? I mean, I feel like I just bought this. Well, I looked, I've had it over a year. So, I mean, that's still going through a lot of cardstock, but I go through a lot of cardstock. I don't know. I use a lot. I print a lot. It's just, it is what it is. 
but I had a, a panic moment so I literally sat right down and I ordered it on Amazon which by the way it is linked in the Amazon list specifically for this project and it's also down below okay that list is down below all right so we're gonna start with I'm gonna set these aside. We don't need these right this minute, but I wanted to make sure that I got them out of the uh, template book. So I think, actually, let's start with the belly band. So this is what's already there. These two, these two pages. So this is meant to house photos, more room for photos. And um, the other two sides of them are just blank at the moment. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a belly band here. And I'm going to go up a little higher, I think. Maybe right here. So let's just start there. Again, since I've already got all of this prepped and ready, it's easy to just go ahead and get these things put down in the garbage bowl there. All right, since this has a direction, I need to make sure. So I'm just going up a little higher. That might be too high, but too late. Well, no, it's not too late. I can get it off there. I am going to be matting that page, so I just went just a little too high. So I'll stick that down, and then I'm going to burnish. So we got one page on there, and then... This L7 page that I put tape on one tab, I'm gonna have this as a flip down like this. So let's go ahead and put that on there. I decided to do a flip down on this one. Oops. because on this one, the first thing is a flip up. Boop. <laughs> I don't know, That's, that was my logic. So now we've got a flip down and we've got a belly band, right? So these two here are gonna go like this. Let's see, I'm gonna do, am I gonna do this one? Okay, I think I'm gonna start this one right here. So we're gonna do the plane envelope pocket on the front here but I'm just going to attach the bottom because I do need to where's my little pokey I do need to add magnets And I'm going to put a piece of tape here so that the inserts don't get stuck. Oh, too much. I'm not a very good judge of that, am I? Well, that was almost too much, too. So I'm going to grab my magnets really quick because I did not, I did not think this part through just yet. But, I don't think, yeah, see that's, so the magnet's going to be over here. But still, I want it to not push away. Holy moly! <laughs> that's so funny. Okay, so I have all of my resources linked down below to my magnets, you guys. And um, these are magnet savers. We're not going to be able to use one in this particular one right now, but... Um, but yeah, that's funny. That's funny. And then I think we're going to use this one. So I'm just going to lay this on here because I need to make sure that I go where I need to go. Go in the right space. So I'm just going to draw around here like that. So I just need it to be right, right, right in the middle here somehow. And... I guess I could put magnet savers in-betweens. Well, the reason is, is there's going to be a magnet here, and there's going to be a magnet back here, 
and then there's going to be a magnet somewhere here just to keep it all nice and compact. So I'm trying to think of what's going to be the best way. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the magnet here and the magnet saver on here because I want to do a wax seal, I think. So that being said, let's do it like this. I'm going to stick one of these glue dots right there. These are glue dots permanent and they're the size of these magnets. So I'm going to take and flip this and put this there like that. Even though this is going to get matted, I'm going to put a piece of tape over top of it. So my concern is, I'm trying to decide if I would need to put a magnet here. I'm going to put, I guess I could do a magnet saver on the back side here. Can you guys see? I put a big enough one. Let's do that. Let's see. So this is just like a little disc, um, a little metal disc that magnets are attracted to. Which one's the metal? Is it, uh, is it stainless steel? Is that the metal that they're attracted to? I can't remember. So then that's going to be on the back side here. So let's go ahead and put that down. And then I'm going to put some tape, I think. I don't have big enough tape to cover the whole thing. Nope. Got some, so I'm just going to put two. Where did my other paper go? I think I just tossed it aside. <laughs> I think I'm going to add this on here. I'm, I'm just going to have to work this out as we go because I did not plan for this. I didn't plan very good. Okay, so I'm going to remove the tape backing. I'm going to line this up down here on the edge. No, oh, it's okay. It's like, is it crooked? It's kind of crooked, but it's okay. And then, oh, come on, you guys. So I'm going to stick this here. get one of the wax seals ready to go. And I'm going to take my Tim Holtz scissors and I'm just going to trim. It's barely sticking over the edge there, but I'm going to trim it off with my Tim Holtz scissors. And then I'm going to burnish it so it's not too sharp. this folds down there's going to be an insert and an insert so I guess I should do a magnet here that's what I should do magnet on the back side and 
I'm going to do the same thing. While that melts, I'm just going to see. I'm going to trace this on here. It may not matter because of the wax seal, so we'll see. I should put this on first. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to add this piece to the back here. We're just going to do the bottom again. Oh, I see. And because this is not done, it's not going to be matted, I need to put it on the back side here. Okay, I can do that. Hold on. Let me grab. Oh, <laughs> those mag I need to put some of those magnets up for real. For real, for real. Let's put that on the back like that. And I'm going to cover this with tape. Can you see? I'm almost, I'm almost off, off frame, aren't I? So then this will have, let's go ahead and put this down. So I did the background design on one side for one piece and then the plane on the, with the, that piece and then this side, I'm doing the exact opposite of what I did on the front side. Right, so this is the plane right here where the flap over here is the background design and so on and so forth. So on and so forth. You get, you get the gist. Okay. Put my net saver here. Let me put another glue dot down. Cut this off real quick. Oh, my... Wax is done. It's done melting. Okay. So let's get this over here like that. Ah! Oh my gosh, did y'all see that? It didn't spill a drop. Not a single drop. Look at me go. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I get all of that metal piece covered on the top here. That was amazing. That was so good. Use my rose. Oop. Whoa, don't go nowhere. It's so cute. Okay. So I'm going to do the other, I'm going to do the exact same thing for the back side. So I guess I need to get some more melting. I'm just letting that get done drying. I'm doing three little beads. These little wax melts are in my Amazon list for the project. We used them in the last project too because it's like my most favorite color. Also matches my nails. Didn't do that on purpose, but hey. Okay. So that's going to go there. Nice. The only thing is, since I'm just going to have a wonder, let's, let's, I think that's dry. I wonder if the, I wonder if I need to move. I wonder if the, the um, what am I trying to say, you guys? I wonder if the magnet, whoa, it should hold. Do y'all want to give it a whirl and see if it'll hold through the wax seal? Well, why not, right? Wait a minute, let's see where it's going to go. Because I'm going to put something here. I am so sorry. I should have figured this out beforehand, you guys. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Uh-oh. 
All right, we'll find out here in just a minute if that'll work or not. Again, we're gonna be putting mats over top of this, or not mats, we're gonna be putting some decoration over top of that, so that won't be seen. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, stop. <laughs> I have to mat this first. Good grief. All right, let me put my magnets away. Well, we'll start there then, since that's almost done with its melting. Hang on, I'm trying to find where I'm gonna put my mat now. Hang on, let me get it. <laughs> okay, I found it. I found it, I found the mat. Okay, so I wanted to explain. Um, the mats for the envelopes are, you know, the guidebook tells you the information on what page they are. But what I did was, this is some of the images from the printable version of the, um, was it the ephemera? I'm not sure which one it was. And it's like a full, like it's like a, it's like a, a full image, right? So I did two five by seven sizes, and that was too big. So then I printed two four by six sizes, and this one's, I'm gonna be using this uh, later on in the video. But then I traced the mat for this out of the two, this, I printed it two four by sixes. So they're a little bit smaller, right? And so we're gonna be using this piece in a minute, but this is the mat for this page right here. So we need to add that before I add the wax seal. Good grief. My wax almost, and I've already inked it up as you can see. So I'm gonna use some Fabri-Tac. Oh, and I misprinted something on the back side. So I just re since I'm out of cardstock, I just reused that 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 uh, piece that I printed that I didn't mean to print. I didn't need it. So I was like, well, since I'm waiting on my cardstock, I'm just gonna use the back side. And my printer is still printing all wonky. But I figured if I started the project that way, I might as well end it that way. It's not printing exactly. Um, the, there's lines, it's banding or whatever. And I'm just going with it. I feel like I didn't cut this out right. I feel like this needs to be a little straighter. Let's just peel it back. Maybe trim just a little bit off. Ink it up. There, much better. <laughs> that was a good save. I guess I could scooch on just a little, huh? All right. So that was just Fabri-Tac. And now I need to remelt my wax. Oh, for crying out loud, I did it again. It's like it's top heavy. Or maybe I'm just fumble fingers today. I think that's probably it. I'm just fumble fingers today. Okay, I think we're flowing now. Same thing, I'm just gonna pour it right on here and try to make sure that I get that whole disc. So having this sitting on the uh, Rose Quartz coaster keeps it cooler, so it, it kind of dries the wax faster. So let me move it so you can see um, that you can, you, you don't see any of that disc under here or on this side. But anyway, so having that coaster under there keeps it from, or, or helps it cool faster. That's what I'm trying to say. Right, I'm going to wait until this is completely cooled to close this. But I do think, I do think I can, let me put a piece of tape down here. I think, let me move my candle. 
I think we can close these pockets up now that I've worked out what I think I'm going to do. <laughs> Oops, this one's not big enough. Some of you say you like it when I leave all this stuff in and some of you don't. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on that if you like it or don't like it. Let me leave in the thought processes and the boo-boos and all of that stuff in. I mean, it's just the real world, you know? It's just like, it's just real crafting. At least that's the way I look at it. You know, it's just, it's just real life. This is what's happening in my real life. So, not gonna work you guys it does a little it does a little take on it all right we're just gonna leave it we're, gonna, we're just gonna roll but I am gonna show you what I'm gonna put here I'm gonna put a piece of tape here real quick actually I've got several things I'll show you real quick so this is the mat for the main base page and we are going to be matting the inside here. We're going to mat that. Before I do that though, let me get these corners. We're going to mat the inside there with that. And this is from my Shades of Color 2. It's included in that collection list you guys do we like this idea i love this idea all right anyway so i traced it onto one of the pages we've already used and then this is one of those fussy cut elements i might even shift it a little this way from the printable so the fussy cut um one of the blendables or layers or again i forget what she calls it but i just I'm just calling it fussy cut. This is a beautiful purple butterfly. And then this one says, uh, it's all about this. And I was just going to have this like over it like that. And that's how I was going to embellish this, this pay, this belly band here. You like that? I think, I think I do. I think I do. I think I do. So let me remove this. Okay, so I think I'm gonna flip this back and I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna attach this, this pocket fully down now. So I do have I do have my mat for here and it's pretty cool. So again, in the guidebook, it will show you uh, where the mat is in the set of templates. So I use this piece of paper from the uh, collection from the paper collection. So it looks like this. I love this. I love this right here. So I'm trying to find a really good spot for that. And that's the back side. It's very neutrally. So I traced the mat for that out of this top piece right here. I cut it out and I inked it up. All right, so I'm gonna put this in, uh, put that up in my paper stash. And then I decided that this, whoop, this wasn't good enough. So let's open this up. Let's sit this down here. I decided I wanted more right here. I just wanted it a little bit more. So I took a cue from this butterfly and I fussy cut around with my craft knife. So let me find a piece of white paper here. Right, I fussy cut around with my craft knife. 
How about a Vas Gucci in? Right? So I just took and went around like this and I left it connected on this side. And I even did it to where this little flower down here was fussy cut a little bit so I could tuck something there. So the idea of what I'm thinking is, let's make sure it stays since I got you so close. I grabbed some of the pieces from the ephemera. This is the purchased ephemera, not printed ephemera. And I think they're all, yeah, they're all printed uh, or they're all purchased ephemera. So I thought I would do something like this. Hang on, I got glue on my finger. First, I'm going to ink this up. This would be a good journaling spot. So I thought what I would do is put this in here like this. And you can see I put two little pencil marks there. Matter of fact, I need to erase this. So I knew where to stop cutting so that I would have, whoop, so that I would have a place to tuck this little piece in right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a pocket itself. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do anyway. Yeah, I'm going to make it into a pocket itself. I'm just thinking. I didn't ink this up at all. I'm going to try to ink it real quick. I think it's fun to use the paper. The paper. To find, find you, fun to find new ways to use the paper. Other than the obvious, you know. Just, is that my cut down here? No. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Bend this back a little bit, and I'm just going to put glue right on this little, oh, can you even see? Uh, it's hard having you guys so close. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to have to fix it. I feel I shifted it. I did. Like that. Woo. So then I thought I would take these two and somehow attach these together and these could go in here like this as like a removable thing. So what I want to do is first I want to ink them, just the edges. Okay, like that. So I'm going to glue it together right here. Shaking. I'm a shaking. Like that. Scooch that out of the way. And then I'm going to take a piece of coffee stained paper, if I can find, or writing paper. Let me see what I can find. I think I have a piece of writing, but I think it's going the wrong way. Let me see if I can find a piece of coffee stained paper. So this is just a piece of coffee stained paper. And. Ooh, I just got warm all of a sudden. And I'm just going to attach this down to it fully. Yep. I did. I just got really hot. I don't know why. <laughs> So when this dries a little bit, I'm going to I'm going to fussy cut this out of the coffee stain paper. I may even poke a hole and make it a tie so we can pull it, but then we'll have us a little insert that goes right here. I just think that's cute. 
So we'll do that. So I'm going to set this aside, but we're going to attach this down right here. Yep. Um, and I'm going to use my arc letter glue as well as the beacon. So I'm going to put the beacon all around the outside. some in here and then the arc letter glue I'm just gonna put it to make sure that these points stay down and that way actually before I stick that down let me grab this piece of tape over here I'm just gonna put it on these little points so that they stay down so that they don't stop the insert from going in like I just missed. All right, now I'm gonna put this down right there. I can't decide if I want to glue this down yet or not because I think it'd be cool too if you wanted to add another little something under there. I don't know. We're going to leave it up for now. I love it. I think that's adorable. Yes. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that. I think it's adorable. Okay. All right. Off camera, I went ahead and cut out all those, that, that, the two pages of the inserts. What page number was that? L... Well... L21? 27? 21? Anyway, um, so... There's, I'm putting one in each one of these. I'm not going to decorate it just yet. And nor do I know what I'm going to mat these with. The, I think if when I come in to mat the insides of these, I think I'll just do it off camera and, sh and just tell you what I did. Um, because it's kind of, you know, straightforward. So I'm just going to put an insert in there. I've already inked the backs of them up. And I'm going to put an insert in here. And this other one. I can't even do it this way. Well, no, that's fine. Let's do it this way. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything here yet, but that's one thing we're just going to leave for now. And then I'm going to use one insert for back here, but I'm going to put this one up. We're not going to use the fourth insert for right now. So I have a couple of ideas. So this is going to go... Whoop, that was glued down. This is going to go back here. Um, probably this way. So I have a couple of ideas. So let's just start with this side. And... Where did I, what did I do with that one little piece that I cut? Oh, there it is. This piece here. I was thinking about adding it here. Like this. And then using a photo mat from my uh, original photo mat. Essentials. Using one of the 4x6 photo mats. And putting that here. Like that. And then having something like this here. I'm just going to get my paper trimmer out. Whoop. Whoa, hello. Really quick, and I'm just going to give myself a, some sort of starting point. And we can go from there. I'm just cutting it straight line right there so I can either do it like this and have this edge I should have into this up.
I mean, I would ask you guys, but by the time you see this, it will already be done. It'll already be done. Or I could have it like this, which that could be kind of neat too. So I'm going to try to find my pencil. I'm going to mark it with my pencil. Cut that and see if I like that. So I can always go smaller, right? It's hard to add on, but you can always go smaller. So yeah, so we can still tuck things up under there. More photo mats and that, that kind of thing. Okay, and then real quick, let me do my four by six. This is from my stamp set, Picture Perfect, that I did with May May. I hand drew all these little elements here, aren't they cool? Um, I have it linked down below. All right, four by six, there we go. And then I feel like we could do more to that, but for now, I think we're gonna leave it like that, like that part of it. We'll see. I don't know if I'm liking it now in there. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so then on the front part, I was gonna do two, two three by four photo mats. These are from the Photo Mats Essentials and they come forward to a sheet and they look like this and then I just fussy cut out around the edges. Whoa, hello. I was gonna do these two like this and then have like some sort of decoration in the middle. So let me stamp these two really quick with a three by four. All right, so in the middle here, I have grabbed I grabbed one of these. I just want a decoration, right? So I'm gonna put, this is from the ephemera pack. So I think it might be fun. So this is, this is from this page. So this, this is from the, this is from the add-on enhancement pack and I printed the vintage page E9. I printed this just onto 28 pound white paper, right? The vintage background design. And I cut this little one out and folded it up. Actually, let me go ahead and glue it down. Close at the bottom. So I thought it'd be fun to have like a little cluster here of something. So then I thought it would be even cuter if we took some of the whale tails. These are in the enhancement pack and I forget what page they are. They are page, these are just pieces that I've had left over from other projects. They're on page E13 in the enhancement pack. And matter of fact, we might need we might, we might need, um, I think I might use this medium one, the mat for that. And I wanted to show you, um, I keep these together because I like to just score them down the middle here, all of them, and then fold them out, fold them over, and then cut them out that way. But I've already cut one out, and this one is, is this the, oh, no, I grabbed the wrong mat. I'm, I'm using the smallest one. Let me get the right mat. Thank you. 
So yeah, when you print these off, keep them. You know, don't throw them out because you, you can use them in other projects. So I uh, cut this one out and inked up the one side because I thought it'd be fun to have like a little, like it holding this little cluster kind of like this. Like upside down. And it'd be right in the middle there. What do you think? You think that'd be kind of cute? So then I, I found this scrap in my in my drawer and I was I was thinking I could use this. It's almost all right, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make sure I got the right side. I need this side. And I'm just gonna pick a spot. No, I'll go this way. It doesn't matter. It's not that crucial. So, kind of like those two right there where they are. Okay, now I'm just going to put some glitter on this little edge here. I know I'm, talk I'm not talking very much, Emma. I'm sorry. Sorry, you guys. Probably should have used fabric tag. That's cute. So then you can, I don't have the answer to print it off yet, but then you can just put a little note in there and it could be telling you all about what these pictures are about. So now I just need to decide if I'm going to leave it open or not. I'm going to sandwich it in like that. I could just, I could just uh, glue this down, that part down, and leave the top open. Let's just do that. It gives me options, right? This way, you can add photos to your photo mats, and there's some decorative elements going on at the same time. So we can have it this way. That's getting cut. That's getting cut. We can have it this way. Oh, I kind of like it that way. I mean, it just looks like there's something exciting under there. For now, I like it this way. And then, or we could have it this way. Which I feel like this needs a, a, something. This this side of the insert needs something. But right now I don't know what that is. But I think it's cool. Either way, I think it's cool. I think it's a cool insert. We have options. Yep, I like it. All right, you guys. That is all we're going to do today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and all that stuff. And thank you so much again for joining me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.